Hey everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day and we have a video with two parts today. First off, we'll be looking at how to fit the largest possible square within a triangle and the second part of the video will examine how to draw a square or rectangle equal in area to a triangle. Hope you watch it to the end, it promises to be very informative. Okay, so first off, we'll begin with an equilateral triangle. This is a triangle that we drew in a previous video several months ago. Right? An equilateral triangle has three equal sides and angles. Also in frame you can see an isosceles and a scalene triangle. Alright, so we begin by drawing line DE. DE is parallel to the baseline on all of our triangles. It's BC. I have the three different types of triangles here because I want you to know that it doesn't matter what type of triangle you use. But for the sake of this video, we'll mainly focus on the equilateral triangle. So from the apex of the triangle, from point A, we draw a vertical line coming all the way down. Remember that DE is parallel to BC. Right? So the vertical line that we drew from A coming down to cut BC, we'll call that point F. This line is perpendicular to line DE, it is also perpendicular to line BC. So that's the first thing you want to do. What we want to do next is using radius AF, right? So we're using the radius AF. We want to draw an arc to cut DE. And you can see that we have drawn the arc here. Now at the point where the arc cuts DE, let's just label that point also. We'll call it, what letter comes after F, right? G, good. So we'll call it G. Now, this part is very important. What we wanna do next is from point B, we want to pull a line or draw a line to point G, as you can see that I have done here. From point B, we draw a line to point G. Now we're almost through. This line is called line BG. And where, the, where line BG cuts line AC, we'll call that point H. H is very, very significant. Once you have established point H, now you draw a horizontal line and you can draw a vertical line these are the first two sides of your square or rectangle i'll just trim this to neaten it up great so these are the first two sides of our square or rectangle all right i'm just gonna copy uh the first vertical side And that's it. This is our square. This is the largest possible square that we can draw in this triangle. And this construction method can be used for any triangle. You'll either have a, tri a square within or you may have a rectangle within. Okay, so now we go on to drawing a square or rectangle equal in area to a triangle to any triangle so for this uh, part of the video we'll be using an isosceles triangle um, so the, the two long sides are equal and then there's a the short side which is the base so immediately we begin with a vertical line this line is perpendicular to line BC and what we need to do next is we need to bisect this line but before we do it let's just label the line so we can stop calling it the line right so the point where the line 
bisects the base BC is called D. So this new line is called line AD. And what we want to do right now is we want to bisect line AD. To bisect a line means to divide or to bisect anything means to divide it into two equal parts. So that, that's exactly what you're going to do here. And we are actually going to use the construction for bisecting a line, which is to draw two arcs, two intersecting arcs on either side of the line, ensuring that the radius is the same for all the arcs. And then you simply draw a line through the two intersecting points. As you can see me doing here, I'm using the radius of 1000 in each instance. The radius has to be the same. Right, so those are our intersecting arcs. And I'm simply going to draw a horizontal line through the points of intersection as we have done here. Now, once you have this, you actually have the height of your square or rectangle and you're almost finished. What you're going to do next is you will draw some vertical lines from the base of your triangle to touch or to cut the horizontal line like this. And um, I'm just going to trim, just going to trim, yes, my favorite command. I'm just going to trim the center of this line so that when I'm ready to change the layer, everything will come out perfectly. Alright, but you can already see the square or rectangle being formed. And yes, this square is equal in area to the triangle. So this isosceles triangle and the square we just drew is equal in area and that construction works for any triangle. So here we have it. First, how to draw the largest possible square in a triangle. And secondly, how to draw a square equal in area to a triangle. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.